Well, that might be analogous to all these little, small things that tend to fill our life. And that just little by little, they just accumulate. Now, your job, you can't go above this, is to get all those large rocks in the jar. Good luck. <laughs> What's that one called? Q2, planning, preparation. Right. <laughs> planning, preparation, prevention, and empowerment. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next rock she's putting in there is called relationships and family. <laughs> we didn't look at that third rock you put in there. That's employment, some key employment issue, and then you put major projects here. I can't get it above there. I haven't worked it yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. That's called Service Community Church. <laughs> Do you ever feel like this? Yes. <laughs> How many feel like this? <laughs> By moving the little things around, you might squeeze in one more of those big major things. It's almost. <laughs> wow, that is good. You know, if it doesn't fit, force it. <laughs> Here's something that's called urgent and important. It's a quadrant one thing that is blindsiding you that uh, it's your biggest client that if you don't get back to that client now, You've given up your vacation, and you have no special block of time just for yourself. I'll tell you what you can do if you want to. You can take a whole different approach. You have a totally fresh bowl. You can work out of a different paradigm altogether. Well, then I'd rather put these in the bottom. And then pour the little pebble on top. Employment. Big opportunity. Big opportunity. Important and urgent. Block of time. Those young children keep looking at me. <laughs> Glad my husband's not here. <laughs> no, I dump these in there. Okay. 